class 11th chemistry unit 6 thermodynamics and in this video we will discuss about extensive and intensive properties and measurement of delta u and delta h first come to extensive and intensive properties an extensive property is a property whose value depends on the quantity or size of matter present in the system for example mass volume internal energy enthalpy heat capacity etc are extensive properties those properties which do not depend on the quantity or size of matter present are known as intensive properties for example temperature density pressure molar heat capacity etc are intensive properties see one example considering a gas enclosed in a container of volume v and at temperature t like this this is one container a gas is filled having volume v and temperature t let us make a partition such that volume is half each part now has one half of the original volume that is v by 2 but the temperature will still remain the same that is t see this diagram in this we made this partition okay then volume of this compartment becomes v by 2 and but there is no change in the temperature temperature is still t in the same way volume of this compartment is half v by 2 but there is a no change in temperature okay that's why it is clear that volume is an extensive property whose value depend on the quantity of matter and temperature is an intensive property whose value is independent on quantity of matter okay now measurement of delta u and delta h first one calorimetry experimental technique used to measure energy changes associated with chemical or physical processes is called calorimetry a calorimeter is a device used to measure the amount of heat changed in a chemical or physical process by measuring temperature changes measurements are made under two different conditions that is at constant volume that is q v and at constant pressure that is q p first of all delta u measurements for chemical reactions heat absorbed at constant volume is measured in a bomb calorimeter here a steel vessel that is known as bomb actually this bomb is made up of the steel and it can withstand high pressure that's why this is called bomb is immersed in a water bath the whole device is called calorimeter you can see this diagram this is a bomb which is made up of steel okay and this bomb is placed in this water bath this this is a water bath containing water the steel vessel is immersed in water bath to ensure that no heat is lost to the surroundings a combustible substance is burnt in pure dioxygen supplied in the steel bomb see this is the sample okay and when we supply the oxygen then this will burn produce the heat okay and then this heat is transferred to this water and we can note down the change in temperature okay heat evolved during the reaction is transferred to the water around the bomb and its temperature is monitored since the bomb calorimeter is sealed its volume does not change that is the energy changes associated with the reactions are measured at constant volume under these conditions no work is done as the reaction is carried out at constant volume in the bomb calorimeter temperature change of the calorimeter produced 
by the completed reaction is then converted to QV and as we know QV is equal to delta U okay now delta H measurements measurement of heat change at constant pressure generally under atmospheric pressure can be done in a simple calorimeter okay see this is a diagram for the simple calorimeter for measuring heat changes at constant pressure that is atmospheric pressure okay this is a one container in which reaction is carried out and with the help of this thermometer we can measure the change in temperature and with the help of this change in temperature we can find out the QP and this QP will be equal to delta H. Heat absorbed or evolved QP at constant pressure is also called the heat of reaction or enthalpy of reaction which is represented as delta RH. In an exothermic reaction heat is evolved we already discussed and system losses heat to the surroundings therefore QP will be negative for exothermic reaction. QP will be negative and therefore delta RH will also be negative. Similarly, in an endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed. That's why QP is positive and delta RH will be positive. Okay, thank you.